guys. <clears throat> Welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for your uh, December, uh, first half of your December from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see um, what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. Uh, and then... Um, We'll uh, take a look and see, uh, you know, what your person's true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the outcome and what else you guys need to know about that for work on. Apply this to your own situation. Switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to, uh, I think I said book a personal reading. Yeah, uh, so let's get started here, Leo. Talk about Leo here. What is going on with Leo in love and the person that they are connecting with for uh, December, 20, first half of their December 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs with the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles here. Regarding this connection here, there is something regarding stability here. We have four, two fours here. So some of you guys could be seeing, seeing a lot of synchronicities regarding four here, okay? So either you're trying to build stability, your person is trying to build stability here with you, all right? Um, you know, I do feel, yeah, we have another four again. We have the Emperor here, Aries Energy, and the Five of Pentacles here. Queen of Wands here and the Devil. Okay. Capricorn Energy. Okay. I, I feel like someone here wants to build stability here. Okay. The problem is the other person does not. Or that this person is unawakened, unaware. Okay. And this other person's energy here is pretty chaotic here, Leo. Okay. Uh, could be dealing with another Leo here with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. I, I feel like one person's trying to like juggle knives, bend over backwards here to make a situation work, but I feel like it's just not working out. We have the Sun of Wands here and the Four of Pentacles here, and the Emperor here and the King of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. I feel like someone here does not want to give up on someone here because I feel like someone here is really in love with their person here. Here's the thing. I feel like because this person is associated with this double energy here, I just feel like someone here is in love with the illusion of, you know, this person, you know, turning out into someone that you dreamed of here, okay? Because whoever this is, I do feel like this person is really toxic, very controlling here, okay? Perhaps very narcissistic too, very in and out, very inconsistent here, okay? So whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual here. Yeah, if you're separated from this person, they're trying to come back around to reconcile here with you or something like that. All right, um, you know, perhaps you're trying not to give this give to this connection here. Perhaps you're trying to walk away from it. Uh, perhaps you have tried everything that you can to make the situation work, but it's just not working here. What else do we have here for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Tell me the person that Leo is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Leo? Two of Cups here and the Seven of Swords. Some here is lying about their feelings here towards you, Leo. King of Wands, Aries, Go Side, Five of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles here, and the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay. So we have the Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, King of Wands, Aries, Go Sagittarius energy. It does seem like, Leo, you're trying to protect your own energies here. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person is playing a lot of games here and wasting your time. Perhaps this person is making promises. They're not keeping it here because I feel like this person could be really, really in and out. Okay, we do have the King to Queen of Wands here. That's a true pair. That's a soulmate connection here. All right. Uh, some of the two of cups here. I do believe that this person does love you, but I do feel like there's a lot of conflict between you and your person right now. We have the Seven of Swords here and also the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Seems like the situation is getting out of hand or out of control here with the lies and deception, with the toxicity here, with the mental, emotional, uh, uh, verbal abuse that you could be experiencing from this individual. We have the King of Wands here and the Star card, Aquarius Energy, the Five of Swords here, and also Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. 
whoever this is, I feel like this person wants to gain your trust here. I feel like this person is seeing you as their wish fulfillment here. Like, uh, we have the Queen of Cups here. We have the King to Queen of Cups. We have the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands here and the Ten of Wands here. To be quite honest here, this queen is looking away. This feminine energy is looking away from this uh, Ten of Pentacles here and this Ten of Wands. And I feel like this person's feeling like, you know, being in a committed relationship is, you know, a situation where I feel like this person can't, you know, hold on to it or that it's really overwhelming or that this person feels like this is like a burden here. Okay. I do feel like this person does love you here, but I also feel like this is an individual that is having a hard time accepting this relationship uh with the three of cups here and the double card here this is an indication here that this person could be dealing with third parties here and they feel like this person just can't help themselves what else do we have here for leo outcome and advice here for leo what else does leo need to know look out for work or when it comes to this love situation for the first half of their december from the first to the 15th Three of Wands and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Queen of Swords here and the Two of Swords. Leaper Aquarius Gemini. Eight of Pentacles here in the world. Okay. Moving forward here. I do feel like somebody is turning their back on someone, but I feel like, you know, I, I feel like you could be turning your back on somebody here, this person that you're dealing with here, but this person could be in denial or that this person just can't let you go or does not want you to let them go, okay? Three of Wands here and the Six of Wands, the Hangman here, the Hangman and the Ace of Pentacles. It does seem like when it comes to commitment here, it's really overwhelming for this person, okay? Um, I do feel like if you do choose to end things with this person here, I do feel like this person is going to spy on you here, okay? I do feel like this person is not really going to quite let you go. But, you know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person can't give you what you want and can't let you go at the same time here. Because of all the hurt and the pain that you've been through here, you know, Leo, I do feel like you're ready to walk away from the situation here for good. Like, I feel like you're just not going to hang around. Eight of Swords and the Death card and the Five of Cups and the Two of Wands. This is a difficult, dis disappointing situation to you because, you know, I do feel like this is an individual here that's exploring other options here. Look. We have the devil and the three of cups. So, you know, I do feel like this person has a tendency to jump into third party situations and they have a hard time basically, you know, letting letting go of the third parties. Yeah, this person just keeps jumping into them. Um, and, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're trying to free yourself from the situation here. You're trying to find closure here, okay? It just seems like whoever this is, this person has a... a, a obsession with third parties or that this person just can't let go of third parties you know i just feel like you know this situation that you've been in with this person here has been a pattern here you know this person has consistently shown you a pattern of you know wanting to be friends with benefits instead of anything serious here okay uh i do believe that this is a, a toxic soulmate connection okay i do believe that there is a reading uh or that there is a a situation that's meant to end here okay so uh you know i i yeah i i do feel like this person has a tendency to get bored very easily here okay and you know i just feel like they're ha they're they, they just can't seem to control themselves uh they can't seem to seem to control themselves they can't seem to you know get their um i guess life in order here okay the justice card in the four of wands here it seems like you might be dealing with some sort of uh twin flame energy here uh, uh or, or perhaps a karmic here yeah so leo i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and i will speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys
Bye.